It is a national historic landmark that offers one of Erie's most unique hands-on experiences. Today, the Letty G. Howard resumed public day sales. Our Matt Mathias got a look behind the scenes of what goes into a day sale. He's in our studio with more tonight. Matt. Well, Janet, it was not just the first day sail of the season, but my first time sailing on a tall ship as well, and the crew certainly makes it a fun experience. When you arrive at the foot of Dobbins Landing and hear the crashing of waves, smell the waters of Lake Erie, and see the sails and masts of the Letty G. Howard towering above you, it's hard not to imagine a time in history when ships like this were relied on. For thousands of years, this is the only way that people, commerce, or ideas moved anywhere in the world, is on ships just like this. And from the moment you step foot on the Letty G, that feeling comes to life, and in more ways than one. After going through general safety tips with passengers and finally launching into the water, the crew gives you a chance to pull your own weight and take part in getting the voyage underway. And they certainly put me to work, hoisting the sails, tying knots, and properly handling slack rope. When you're finished, you can kick back and take in the action and take a look at Erie's Bayfront in a way many people don't get to see. We spoke to some passengers who went on the day sail on a whim and had never been on a tall ship before, and they say they were not disappointed. This is an awesome trip. Everybody should do it. It's wonderful to see the cells go up and hear the captain do his commands. That's awesome. Back the jib. Pass the jib. This is great. It's great for the city. It's great for all the people. I've seen it sail before, never been on it, but uh, it's, it's a great experience and I recommend it to anyone. And this young lady here actually got to steer the ship today. Captain Sabatini says being out on the water is a pleasure to share with others. When you're sailing out here on the bay and looking back at our city, it really connects us to that history and, and it helps solidify why we are a maritime-based city, why we are, you know, the flagship city. And overall, I'd say my experience was just a little bit different than what my pontoon boat offers back at home. It's the first time the Letty is being used for more programming besides day sails since 2018 due to the absence of the U.S. Brig Niagara. Jen. It's definitely a fun thing to do, a great experience. I had it. It's definitely worth checking out.